it always is. The tide is flooding right now, so it's kind of stacking this up a bit. Yeah, we've had some big storms too lately, so I think there's still a bit of a groundswell from that. But we'll be turning here in a minute, and it'll it'll be nice again. Yep. So yeah, just uh, gonna curve around past this red can, and then we'll just shoot through uh, through through the rock pile over there. We'll save us a little bit of time. Um, our timing's a little bit tight, actually to get over to Whale Pass. We gotta go through there on the flood. And uh, so we've got about three hours to get over there. So it's <laughs> just gonna be tight. Yep. If you don't beat the flood, if you don't go west on the flood, um, the current runs really hard through there. And it'll knock you down to a couple, three knots. So we should be pretty far into it before it switches. In a lot of places the tide is delayed, but usually the passage switches pretty quick, right? Yeah, it's right on. So when they say it switches, it switches. It flows one way and the next second it's flowing the other. There than too much, you know, slowly going one way or the other. It just instantly switches so I think we'll be okay. Yeah. Um, usually it takes about three and a half hours to get over there. Right? Yeah, we're already out of the cave here, it's 45 minutes.
this is much easier just to cut through here, so. Yeah. It's already stretching out a little bit. Yeah, it is. It's getting better. Just that swell. Shop kind of laid down. So we'll uh, carry on. Journey begins, I guess. It's, uh, what'd you say? Uh, it's about seven, seven hours. hours over there. Oh, seven? That's not bad. Yeah, and then uh, if we don't find much, we can we'll just run back over here to the north side of Proof Island. Um, and we'll put some stuff there. We plan on fishing there a couple of days at night. If we don't find anything in Dakota tomorrow, we might just come down this way tomorrow night. We just run at night for five hours. We'll be over by Spruce Island. We'll drop the hook and get up in the morning and make a few steps. Yeah. Uh, just see what happens. Yep. So we'll go ahead and point our west here. over there might be able to see a ferry dock that's the village of Yuzinki on Spruce Island hopefully you can see it through this salty window but haven't been there ourselves but so not a long time oh yeah been once yeah we just tied up there for
like they've changed movies. That is a different movie, isn't it? Yeah. It used to be the taller cylindrical one, huh? Yep. Fatal miscalculation. <laughs> hey, I looked at the tide. I guess it is a little bit early today. Well, normally it's it's on, but it's a really big ebb, so maybe it's already starting to dull. Yeah, it kind of looks that way. Hey, it's still making 7 1 though. If we can get most of the way through, we'll be fine. Uh, yeah. I hope so, or we will be crawling. Yeah. So usually there's a bunch of upwellings of current coming through here. It's the high spots the, on the seafloor and just boils the water. Yeah, we're like almost on top of that spot now. One of them, but... Well, 7-1, we'll still get here through here before it actually switches to barely. Yeah. That's good. The plan right now, gonna throw out one or, or uh, two or three sets probably. So just some short ones, five or six tubs. Yep. And see what happens. Pull yeah. them bright and early in the morning before the sun pops up. Yep. So right now we only have, oh gosh, less than 12 hours of daylight. It's dwindling quickly now. So. Not a whole lot of time to do stuff to get good long soaks. So it's best if we get them on board when it's still dark and then we get them faded up and back in the water right at daybreak.
I just uh, broke up all the bait just so that it's a little easier to uh, bait up later. They're still uh, pretty much frozen, so uh, get them to thaw a little bit when they're separated a little easier and they'll bait up easier. Alright guys, gonna lay out a set. Just put our buoy line out, then we'll launch the bird line. out you can see it's getting dim out so I'm gonna cut her off here but we'll bring you back when we start hauling them Don't know how well it'll pick it up. Just gotta mount it on the reel here, so. Apologies for the static positioning. We ended up just setting one set last night. Uh, just wanted to be sure that it's not just a desert here and that there's not excessive amount of sand flea action, so. So just got a little short six tub set to pull and then we'll set out for the day. 
So it's kind of misty on and off. Hopefully the rain doesn't get on the lens, but if it does, I guess it is what it is. Meant to put some rain X on it, but I can get around to it. So this mic on the camera is a directional mic. As much as we'd like to, it's just pretty harsh conditions for a microphone. We'll do our best to speak up without sounding like we're hollering at you or each other. If our back is turned, it won't capture the audio very well. We apologize for that, but we're just doing the best that we can with the gear we have and the conditions that are pretty tough on equipment. Well, we'll see how this set turns out. It's just a little shorty, so let's see if we got anything on the night set.
out at night and not worry about it. These guys usually do pretty good in the deep mud. As far as no sand fleas, so. Doesn't look too good right now.
trip. Eleven fish. Yeah, and that was only six tubs, so yeah, a little under two per tub. Yeah, it's not the best fishing, but it's okay. For a time that we can't get production in anyway, it's it's not bad. Yeah. The days are so short now. Get slide at eight. Get start at seven, I think. So That's eleven right hours. Now. Kind of a test set, anyways, in the deep mud for a night. Fish look good, no sign of sand fleas, so we'll probably be laying some more out tonight for an overnight soak. And uh, this morning we'll go put some up in the harder bottom, up on the edge, a little shallower, rocky, harder bottom, mixed, mixed ground. We know that there'll be sand fleas there, so we'll get them in before dark. This gives us a little idea what to do tonight. Yep. No bait came back. So that's good. Yeah. Play a long soak. Yeah. Okay, guys. Well, it's the afternoon now. We set out our gear this morning. Did four sets. Didn't film any of it, but it's all right. Uh, it was kind of wet and rainy and misty, so I didn't want to get the camera all wet. But anyway, uh, just had a lunch and short nap, and now it's almost two. We're gonna get going pretty soon. Yeah. Brewing up a cup of coffee. All in all, pretty nice day. I'm glad we came over here. Able yeah. To work. Pretty just windy a, on the other side, so just a little bit of Northwester coming in here. Wrapping around the corner, not too bad though. Yeah, it's, it's been gusty all morning, but yeah, yeah, it's not getting rough or anything. We're got enough lee here. Our first set's over there, about a mile and a half, so it might be a touch bumpy there. I don't think it will be though. I don't see much for white caps over there. So, yep. anyways, we'll be hauling into the bay. So that should be a pretty nice pull, I think have the wind and current pushing us in so it should be real easy to pull yeah excited to see what's down there fingers crossed it'll be all right yeah and uh open tomorrow is okay here too and we can just fish here for a couple of days that would be nice that would be ideal mm -hmm. but we'll have to see it's supposed to Kind of switch to the north northwest here, and depending on how strong it is, that might not be very good. But at any rate, it won't take long to motor back to Marmot there. About three and a half, four hours to run over that way. Yep. Hopefully, get some fish while we're over here. We ended up with about 190 on our first set there this morning. So. Not too bad. Not for, terrible. For a seven cup set. Actually, seven, it was uh, like six. Six cup set, yeah. Yeah, so. Yeah, that works. Not the best, but it certainly ain't the worst either. Yep. So, Alright, go get our refreshments poured and kick back a little longer. We're gonna cut some bait pretty soon. So, we'll bring you guys back once we. Start hauling, I guess. Hopefully, it's not raining out. Kind of is now, but anyway. It's up and down. Yeah. And let's see some brightness over there. Yeah. Maybe it'll clear up. Yep. Alright, see you in a bit. Alrighty, guys. We're starting. It is a little bit funky out here, so don't be surprised if the lens gets spattered with water. It doesn't really look that way, but... Yeah, it's not really that funky. It's probably like 20. It's coming out of the northeast, that direction, so it's coming up and around. But it should be a pretty good pull. Let's see if we can get back on top of it here. I'm going to set you guys up forward. Try and keep the camera dry. I 
I know it's not the best vantage point, but yeah. Try and get some better mounting system at some point in the future. All right, let's go. guys well that last set was kind of a no show I think we got fleet uh, fleet on our bait so they all munch the bait before it can fish three fish don't win them all
out, guys. Got skunked on that one. No halibut. Uh, so a little handful yeah. of cod, I think five. But that's why they call it fishing, right? That hasn't been a very good day. Nope. Windy and no fish and too much yellow eye that we can't sell. Yeah. We do what we can. Could be sitting in town by it blows. So I think we talked about our uh, love knots here before. That's a love knot or a water knot. This guy's getting kind of rough looking. Um, it's on the buoy line last tub that we just brought in so we'll peel this off and then we can splice that and uh, get that out of there so we always kind of watch for these to show up on the end of the set so we can peel them off and we'll just pull this off real quick and coil it up and then we'll splice it real quick set it back out so yeah We'll just pull the whole thing off so we don't have to to fiddle with it right now. Just splice it this evening. Then we'll just reel it back on. Yeah, wind is up and down today. These two sets. Got one more shallow one and one more deep. See how they turn out. Okay. I forgot, you're supposed to take it out of the level wine first. Alright, we're gonna run down to the next one, pick it up, hopefully we'll do a little better.